Coming up next, Orson Welles stars in one of the most remarkable films ever made, Citizen Kane. don't know what Rosebud means, you're about to discover the greatest mystery in movies. And even if you do know about Rosebud, it's time to rediscover why they call it the greatest of all motion pictures. We present Citizen Kane, next on Cinema 2. great deals to sell 93,000 vehicles by the end of the month. The dealing is really hot here. Incredible. On the spot financing just like that. <laughs> All right. Make big Toyota-thon deals on sedans, sport coupes, trucks, vans. Tomorrow's the last day you can deduct sales tax. Your last chance to save hundreds more. Hurry, make your tax-saving Toyota-thon deal and drive it home today. One of the nice things about shopping at Albertsons is their supreme meat. Because now I can afford to cook like this every week, instead of just once or twice a month. Albertson Supreme Meat. It stands for quality at a great low price. And it even comes with our own money-back guarantee. You know, now that my family's had Albertson Supreme Meat, I wonder if we'll ever eat out again. Albertsons. We give you more for less. You could call this your last chance sale. Last chance to buy a new Ford Land Ford or Yugo and deduct the sales tax from this year's income tax. You'll save big money other ways, too. Just for this sale, we're offering 3.9% interest on all models of new Ford cars and trucks. And Ford Land will pay for your 1987 license plates. But hurry, it ends New Year's Eve. Get savings you'll never see again. 11,000 West Colfax. New Year's Eve is a celebration on Denver's 2. To love! If I were a rich man. Yabbidibbidibbidibbidibbidibbidibbidibbidum. One of Broadway's longest running hits. Long the best Winner of three Academy Awards. Tradition! Tradition! on the Roof. The celebration begins 11.30 p.m. New Year's Eve. Return to Orson Welles, starring in Citizen Kane, after these messages. Grand Finale, 1986. Fred Schmidt's annual year-end clearance and their low sale prices on quality General Electric appliances. Save on GE Energy Efficient refrigerators, hot scrubber dishwashers, permanent press washers and matching dryers, built-in and countertop microwave ovens, and GE Electric Rangers. Ask your name. Grand Finale 86, and we've saved the best for last. Another 30 seconds of common sense. Less than a year ago, these guys were celebrating the opening of the first Hyundai dealerships. Today, the Hyundai Excel outsells every import car you can name. So, they're celebrating again. <laughs> now it's your chance to get more car for less money, with seven models under $7,000, and as low as $49.95. But hurry, you've only got until... January 3rd. That's when the suits have to go back. Test drive the new XL now at your Greater Denver Hyundai dealers. We sell cars that make sense. This is Hawaii, paradise found. Aloha, I'm Ed Hogan, owner of Pleasant Hawaiian Holidays, where we make paradise affordable. This is Pleasant's low price for a full week in Waikiki. It includes airfare and hotel, and all the paradise you can handle. Stop dreaming and start packing. Pleasant Hawaiian holidays make paradise affordable. This is the place to be New Year's Day for the most exciting live coverage of the 1987 Tournament of Roses Parade. 
We'll bring you the big picture and all the detail from the best camera location with Bob Eubanks and Stephanie Edwards to bring you the inside information. And we never leave for commercials. Our Emmy Award-winning coverage has had the biggest audiences for more than 10 years. This year, experience the 1987 Tournament of Roses Parade. 9 a.m. on Denver's 2, Thursday. The Denver Pro-Am Basketball League is seeking top-notch players for a highly competitive league starting in January. For more information, call John Bailey at 298-8724. Thursday night at 7 on Cinema 2. She is 40. Don't you think you'd be more comfortable with someone your own age? He is 20. No, I wouldn't. The love they share is out of bounds. Are you really going to let him throw his life away for a fling? How can you be so selfish? Susan Flannery and Jameson Parker star in Anatomy of a Seduction on Cinema 2, 7 p.m. Thursday. I got about as much chance of winning the lottery as winning a beauty pageant. I'll take a ticket, please. Play Surprise Package 87. It's a blast. What would you do if you won $87,000 instantly in the Colorado Lottery? Play Surprise Package. It's a blast. Now there are 10 times as many entry tickets for the weekly drawings. Get your ticket and hold on. Play Surprise Package and who knows? It can be pretty scary out there when you're hunting for a car. Lurking behind every corner are flames of good deal shaken. Or lots of jumbo sales on cars you really don't want. Well, escape from the jungle to the civilized land of Osborne. Like Osborne Chevrolet and Hyundai or Osborne Subaru. And of course, Mazda. Because Osborne stands alone as the civilized name in the automotive jungle. Come on, he's asleep. Let's see what we got here. You can teach me how to throw a knuckleball. We're going to read poetry together. I'll get him to do all my math homework. It's great. We own this guy. He's going to do whatever we tell him. Go to bed. <laughs> Scott Bale stars in the all-new Charles and Charge. Coming to Denver Zoo Sunday, January 4th. Tomorrow night in Cinema 2, Errol Flynn stars in Captain Blood. Now, back to Citizen Kane. We'll return to Orson Welles starring in Citizen Kane after these messages. <laughs> My lips are sealed with chapstick. Uh-oh. Chapstick, please. Will that be cash? Just put it on my bill. My lips are sealed with chapstick. <sighs> Put on the plus. Now, help prevent dry, chapped lips with new Chapstick Petroleum Jelly Plus. Plus aloe, plus lanolin, plus a special angled tip. New Chapstick Petroleum Jelly Plus. Put on the plus. Every 34 seconds, somebody else buys a new Chevrolet Cavalier. But now you can get $300 cash back on Cavalier sedans. $300 on Cavalier wagons. $300 on Cavalier convertibles. Cash back from Chevrolet. Time is running out for $300 factory cash and huge year-end savings on every new Cavalier. Keep the cash or use it as a down payment and drive home a new Cavalier from about $139 a month. See you this week at Colorado's Best Chevy Dealers. Turn to the hottest night spot in town. Ready to leave orbit, Captain. Oh, my God. Come for the thrill. Could be some form of space madness we've never heard of. For the excitement. Oh, a flying saucer. <laughs> For the wildest party in the galaxy. So again, Star Trek at 10.30. Tonight on Denver's 2. Being unable to read is scary and frustrating. Emergency phone numbers, WAN ads, and warning signs are incomprehensible. If you know someone who wants to learn to read, or if you would like to help, call the Colorado Literacy Hotline, 
0555. It may be the most important phone call you make. From the Channel 2 Newsroom, this is a Channel 2 News Brief. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ernie Bjorkman. The State Patrol says a suspected drunk driver was shot and killed today after he threatened officers with a shotgun. The man was driving this pickup truck camper and led officers on a 30-mile chase through the mountains before stopping at the Loveland Ski Area. Several violent crimes made headlines in 1986. Tonight, we'll talk to a man who deals with those tragedies firsthand to get his perspective on the problem. We'll have more news right after this. If you don't fancy freezing, warm up in Waikiki. You'll find a very affordable price from Pleasant Hawaiian Holidays. Just one more day before dozens of tax changes take effect tonight in our two-part cover story. We're going to hear from local tax experts about how those changes will affect you. And we'll find out if people making big purchases at the last minute are really saving money. And the water we'll be drinking this summer is piled up in the Colorado high country right now. Tonight, we'll take you on the first snow survey of the season for a look at our future water supply. So join us for all the day's news, weather, and sports tonight at 925, right after the movie. Sharing special moments, that's the way you are. A city high on living. Together, Denver, we've come far. We're growing, changing with you. Having good times, making you smile. We're a friend you can always turn to. Denver's own TV too. It can be pretty scary out there when you're hunting for a car. Lurking behind every corner are flames of good deals shaken. Or lots of jumbo sales on cars you really don't want. Well, escape from the jungle to the civilized land of Osborne. Like Osborne Chevrolet and Hyundai or Osborne Subaru. And of course, Mazda. Because Osborne stands alone as the civilized name in the automotive jungle. Tomorrow night in Cinema 2, Errol Flynn stars in Captain Blood. Now, back to Citizen Kane. We'll return to Orson Welles starring in Citizen Kane after these messages. New Year's Eve is a celebration on Denver's 2. To love! If I were a rich man. Yabbidibbidibbidibbidibbidibbidibbidibbidum. One of Broadway's longest oh, running hits. Winner of three Academy Awards. Carried. Fiddler on the Roof. The celebration begins 11.30 p.m. New Year's Eve. Charles, you're going to be so proud of me. I just got us a date with two of the most... I can't tonight. I have to study for my philosophy midterm. Maybe this will refresh your libido. I submit to you a photograph of... Ta-da! The beautiful Del Fluvio sisters! Buddy, there aren't enough hours in the day for me to eat, sleep, and to meet these girls. Now, I hate to say it, but I'm... I'm, uh, hmm. I'm going to have to give up sleeping. <laughs> Scott Bayo stars in the all-new Charles in Charge. 5 o'clock Sunday on Denver's 2. Aggressive, individual, focused, comprehensive, creative, distinguished, Colorado Christian College, education designed for life. Errol Flynn in his first
first swashbuckling role. Follow me! Captain Blood, 7 p.m. New Year's Eve. Get back to the happy days today at 5 30. What's it like at the movies with Rex Reed and Bill Harris? See for yourself. For someone who is one of the homeliest men in the world, he is shameless. Well, on the other hand, he's fat. I was delighted to see him back on top. He's bald and funny and great shape. He looks like a sack of potatoes. I would be proud to have him as a partner in anything. Except dancing. <laughs> See for yourself, Bill. Rex Reed and Bill Harris. It could only happen at the movies. 10 p.m. on Denver's 2, Sunday. Hey, you. Got a job? Got any skills? Finished high school? No. Well, Jeffco Employment and Training Services can help you prepare and get a job if you're between 16 and 21 and live in Jefferson County. The agency offers career guidance, GED preparation, skills training, job search workshops, and self-concept experiences. If you are a dropout, teen parent, or low-income youth, then please contact Marty at Jeffco Employment and Training, 277-8020. A Metropolis Theater presents Lorraine Hansberry's turbulent stage play, The Sign in Sidney Brewstein's Window, December 11th through January 18th. Call 455-6929. I'm Bob Fisher. This is the best week of the year to buy a Chevy, a Zuzu, or a Yugo at the Fisher Auto Center in Boulder. We're holding a tax buster sale, and we've cut the price on every car and truck in the place. And we'll match what you pay in state sales tax with a discount of the same amount. You'll double your savings. But hurry, our tax buster sale ends Wednesday night at midnight. We'll go the extra mile, if you will, at Fisher Auto Center in Boulder. Hello, I'm Barney Chambers. My family and I are fortunate because education has always been available to us. This, however, is not the reality for some minority families. Some minorities need an extra boost to make their educational goals happen. That's why the Minority Arts and Education Foundation was created. This foundation offers scholarships and special educational programs to increase the public's awareness of minority life and culture through the arts. For more information, call 340-0213. Thank you. Tomorrow night in Cinema 2, Errol Flynn stars in Captain Blood. Now, back to Citizen Kane. We'll return to Orson Welles starring in Citizen Kane after these messages. On Three's Company, they have some house rules. Regular bathing is required. Privacy is respected. And all have a hand in the cooking as well as the eating. It's all under control, just like the governor's mansion, where Benson and Katie like each other. Benson and Clayton dislike each other. Benson and Krause will never admit they like each other. And then there's the governor who's like no other. Three's Company and Benson. Denver's two's the place. 6 p.m. tomorrow. You may never take your Chevy S10 Blazer 4x4 up a mountain or across a river, which is a shame, because that's what its shift-on-the-fly four-wheel drive and fuel-injected power are all about. But wait a minute. Right now, you're closer to a new Chevy Blazer than you think. During the last hours of 86, Chevy prices are at historic lows, plus you can still write off your sales tax. So don't wait. See your Colorado's best Chevy dealer and drive home your Blazer today. Community Living Alternatives help special people with developmental disabilities find caring home environments that enable them to become independent, productive members of the community. If you believe in the dignity of the individual and that individual's right to pursue a dream, and if you have a home to share to make this dream come true, call Community Living Alternatives at 477-4500. You can make a difference. Tomorrow night in Cinema 2, Errol Flynn stars in Captain Blood. Now, back to Citizen Kane.
later tonight. The driver of this truck dies today during a shootout at a local ski resort. And we'll find out how our future water supply measured up today. A lot of people are spending the last hours of 1986 buying big ticket items like a new car. I'm Dave Young and our cover story tonight will look at the tax law changes on Channel 2 News. The 9 p.m. News Hour, here on Denver's Television 2. Television 2, Saturday. The time right now. The place, your Mazda dealers. The event, Goodbye 86. We're saying goodbye with goodbyes on all our 87s, 323s, 626s, even our X7s. And special factory cash incentives can save you hundreds on 87 B2000 trucks. Buy now while sales tax is still deductible. But hurry, the end is almost here. See your local Mazda dealer for a good buy now. Don't let time run out. Drugs are a no-win situation. They damage your body and affect your mind. Worst of all, drugs ruin lives and destroy families, just like yours. It's not okay to take drugs. If someone tries to tell you different, just say, I'll pass. We're all in this together, and we want you to know the NBA family says no to drugs. Play it smart. Don't foul out. Schrader Theater presents the delightful children's musical Charlotte's Web, December 13th through January 18th, 2 p.m. weekend matinees only. Call 321-8297 for ticket information. Time is running out, so you better hurry to your Chrysler Plymouth dealers before January 1st, because right now you can get 3.9% financing or $500 cash back on Plymouth Reliance. Plus, 86 is the last year you can deduct the state sales tax on your federal income tax return. That means hundreds of dollars in deductions on everything, including new Plymouth Voyager or luxurious Chrysler New Yorker. So hurry in now before time runs out! <laughs> You know, some people will go through just about anything to own a Channel 2 Denver Nuggets t-shirt. Even experienced sportscasters like Jim Conrad and Greg Mills will search high and low for a chance to own such a remarkable t-shirt. Lovely blue and yellow on light gray. Too bad nobody told them there's an easier way to get one. Channel 2's t-shirt night. Friday, January 2nd, the Nuggets host the Houston Rocket, and the first 2,000 adults 18 and older will receive a t-shirt absolutely free. Maybe somebody should tell Jim and Greg. Nah. Katie remembers the day she won a local skating competition. And she gets better and better because she tries harder and harder. Maybe Katie wants to prove that nothing can stop her, not even epilepsy. Like most people with epilepsy, Katie is getting the treatment that lets her live the life she wants to live. With a little help and understanding, Katie's doing just great. Get the facts about epilepsy. Contact your local affiliate of the Epilepsy Foundation of America. Coming up next on Channel 2 News, the state patrol says a suspected drunk driver was killed today after he threatened officers with a shotgun. We'll tell you how our future water supply is piling up. And will the new tax laws cost you more or less? We'll tell you what to expect in tonight's cover story, so stay with us on Channel 2 News. KWGN TV in Denver. This is Channel 2 News with Ernie Bjorkman, Glenn Gerber, and Jim Conrad. The Mile High City's only prime time newscast. Good evening, everyone. We're on late tonight because of the movie. Thanks for joining us. An elderly golden man is dead tonight, the victim of a fire. When firefighters arrived on the scene, the man's house and a trailer parked next to it were engulfed in flames. Investigators think the fire started near the camper, then spread to the home where the victim was trapped. We did find one man inside. Uh, he was unconscious, in cardiac arrest. He was worked at the scene, and we did get a heartbeat back. 
But it wasn't enough. The man died at the hospital later tonight. He's been identified as 62-year-old Fred Martinson. What caused tonight's fatal fire is still under investigation. A fatal shooting by a Colorado State Trooper this afternoon is still under investigation at this hour. The unidentified victim was driving this camper when he refused to stop for allegedly driving drunk near Golden. He led police on a 27-mile chase along I-70 that ended near the Loveland Ski Area parking lot. When he got out of the vehicle, he did have a shotgun uh, in his hands. He went out there, was walking down the road. Uh, officers were telling him by voice, also over loudspeakers, to drop his gun, to lay his gun down. And as they were telling him to lay his gun down, and he refused, kept walking towards the officer, and the officer had to shoot. Police aren't releasing the man's name yet. Beer and liquor were found inside his camper. Law enforcement agencies will be out in force this New Year's Eve, trying to get dangerous drunk drivers off our roads. The Colorado State Patrol and local police departments will have extra officers out on the streets tomorrow night. They're asking you to report anyone driving erratically and to stay off the road, please, if you've had too much to drink yourself. Now, you can get a free ride home by calling the Care Cab program at the number seen on your screen. A taxi will pick you up at any bar or restaurant and take you home at no charge if you live within 20 miles. Denver police tell us the city's homicide rate is up 32% over last year's, with a total tonight of 97 murders so far this year. That's just one symptom of the rise in crime here, and Channel 2's Jim Nash is with us to look back at some of the dubious milestones we've passed in Denver this year, Jim. Ernie, this year in Denver, we passed two important milestones. For the first time in 23 years, a Denver jury handed down the death sentence. And for the first time in 13 years, a Denver police officer was murdered in the line of duty. The killing of Officer Patrick Pollock during a holdup was one more brutal shock to this city in a year of seemingly endless violent crimes. Today, Police Chief Tom Coogan again called for an end to the freedom for everyone to own handguns because so many handguns are used in crimes. I'm not denying anybody the right to bear arms or have arms in their house, but not handguns. Handguns are, are just made to kill people, and that's the only reason. And target practice, baloney. The Olympics, baloney. This man was shot to death after the state legislature gave us all more latitude in self-defense in our homes through the so-called Make My Day law. Neighbors said this man was a peeping Tom, a woman shot him through her window because she was frightened, and the district attorney ruled she was justified in shooting. I see 86 as a trendsetter, but we're going to see from now on. Defense attorney Craig Truman says bad economic times spawn more violence and outrage. Outrage at the state parole system, which often seems to allow the most violent criminals freedom to commit more crimes. Two parolees are accused of killing Jeffco Deputy Sheriff William Truesdale during a bank robbery. Parolee Alexander Valdez is charged with the murder of a grocery store clerk during a robbery. And former felony convict Frank Rodriguez has been handed Denver's first death penalty verdict in more than two decades for a brutal kidnapping murder. People have shorter fuses, less tolerant, less understanding. Violence uh, in Denver is on the increase, and I think it will be on the increase for many years. And I think that they're saying, making a statement, okay, that, you know, this is going to happen, then you're going to die. And I think that the, there's a lot of citizens I talk to that get very vehement about it that would probably impose a death penalty on uh, cases that are even less than uh, a capital offense because they are fed up. Fed up, yes, and more cynical, too. If our top law enforcement officer and one of our top criminal attorneys predict the violence will only get worse here, we'd all better look a lot harder for solutions as we head into another year, right. Ernie. I know one of the solutions is, of course, putting these criminals away for a longer time in our prison system. But there, again, we create a problem, don't we? We don't have enough space. You bet. And not enough money to pay for it. State legislature is going to be asked for $30 million to help build a new convention center. They probably don't have it. People will ask for $100 million to build another prison. And it's very doubtful that they'll come up with that kind of money. Okay. Thank you very much. Children's hospital officials aren't commenting tonight on a lawsuit filed against them. A Wyoming woman claims her baby was injured when someone shut off a main oxygen valve at the hospital last month. The suit doesn't spell out any money amount.